In this week's episode of Working With Todoist, it's all about Siri. Hello and welcome to this 122nd episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in today's episode I want to show you how to get Siri working with Todoist. Now I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and indeed Facebook actually having a few problems getting this set up. So the first thing of course you need to make sure is that you are using the latest operating system from Apple iOS 11. So you need to make sure you've got that downloaded. But once you've got it downloaded, I've, I've seen a lot of people having real problems getting Siri to actually understand the word Todoist. Now, this is certainly not a problem with Todoist because Todoist has basically just added the code to allow Siri to, Siri to talk with Todoist. So we can't go around blaming Todoist about this. This is just simply that Siri is having a problem with the word Todoist. Now it really does depend how you are pronouncing this word. So for example, if you think about it, Todoist could sound something like to-do list. I've had all sorts of wonderful, <laughs> wonderful things coming up like Siri searching for a tattooist. So they think I actually want a tattoo on my arm or something. Um, but really we, what we've got to do is we've got to train Siri. Now, if I remember correctly, Siri also has a little bit of machine learning. Now I could be wrong here, and uh, but if I, if I remember correctly, then over time Siri will start to understand Todoist but you've just got to stick with it. So what we can end up with is a problem like this. Hey Siri, add, co add call Caroline to Todoist. I don't see Caroline to Tattooist on your contacts. Should I look for locations by that name? But if you change the word slightly or change the way you pronounce the word slightly and say Hey Siri, add, add call Caroline to Todoist. So what you're saying is Todoist. Then there's a much better chance that Siri is going to understand you. Now I know this is not perfect, and I know that really Siri is going to have to start learning to understand the word Todoist. But uh, I do believe that. Todoist is actually talking with Apple to see if there is a way around this and maybe we will get an update to the operating system later. I have no idea on this one, but perhaps we will. But for the time being, what you'll find is if you say something like this. Hey Siri, open Todoist. One thing I should tell you, and I completely forgot to say this in the kind of introduction, is for you to get Siri to actually work, what you need to do is you need to click on the, the um, settings. You need to go into Siri. So we'll go down here and Siri and so we're going to go into Siri and search. You actually need to turn Siri on for to do it. So I've got oh, look at all these applications. Uh, hundreds of them. Let's get down here. Todoist is here. So what you've got to do is you've actually got to put search and Siri suggestions and use with Siri. If you don't turn that on, Siri is not going to recognize um, Todoist. So just keep that in mind. I forgot to mention that in my um, preamble introduction. So it's in the settings. You need Siri and search and you need to turn it on. Hey Siri. Show me all tasks due today in Todoist. Okay, here's what I found. You have a task called continue working on YDL 2.0. Would you like to hear the next one? Yes. You have a task called add new word to word list. Want the next one? Hey Siri. 
Add finished project to Todoist. Then what you'll find is Siri is going to understand Todoist or Todoist much better. So what you're basically saying is, hey Siri, uh, show me my today list in Todoist. But you've got to be very clear about your pronunciation. Now to be fair here, I've been using Siri for a very long time and I have often found that I have had to change my pronunciation just a little bit. Uh, my wife's name obviously, my wife is Korean so her name is actually obviously Korean. She does have an English name but her English, Korean name is the one I use all the time and Siri does not understand that. Um, so so whenever she says uh, sending a message to my wife's name, it, oh it's just a, a weird and wonderful pronunciation. But I've learned to grow with it and it's absolutely no problem. By the way guys, uh, before I forget, if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. So this is really just a short episode today. I just wanted to show you how to make sure that you get Siri working. What I strongly recommend if you're having real difficulty with this, then just Practice different pronunciations. Siri will get it. Remember which one it is that's working and then you'll get everything working. So there's many things that you can do. Uh, Evan, uh, to do is to put in a, a blog post which will give you all the commands that you can use uh, to engage Siri with Todoist. So I'm going to put the link in that in the notes section below so you can have a look and you can start experimenting and playing. So remember, certainly for those of you guys using the British Siri, then what you need to be saying is Todoist. And, but what I strongly recommend, if, if you're having trouble getting Siri to understand uh, your commands, then just play around with the, t the, the pronunciation. What you're trying to do is to avoid the words that sounds like to-do list or <laughs> tattooist. Um, but once you've done that, no problems at all. And you will very quickly pick it all up. Okay, short episode today. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a very, very productive week.